It's a silver birch tree growing in the grounds of Bertry Hill in North Ayrshire. This tree shows a large number of witches' brooms growing on its branches. They vary in size. And the cause of their name is obvious with the resemblance to a witch's broom or besom. It's also said that they're caused by the witch at Halloween, their brooms touching the trees, and these growths result. They are found on a number of different species of tree, but birch trees in particular seem to be prone to them. They can grow to extraordinary sizes, but don't appear to cause any great harm to the tree itself. There's a wide range of causative factors, bacteria, viruses, fungi, even physical damage. What is happening is an interference with the natural growth hormones, growth substances of the plant. So the normal inhibition of the production of side shoots ceases. So what you get is a massive proliferation of these side branches. If some of these are taken from a witch's broom and grafted, they also produce a mutated tree, showing that there's a very fundamental alteration within the tree itself. They're usually regarded as disfiguring the tree, though in some cases they are selected on certain species for garden use. They can form habitats for other organisms, such as mosses and lichens. They can become used as shelters, even feeding areas for insects, moths for instance. They're very common, often mistaken for bird nests. These growths on the tree trunk here can be better interpreted as being burrs. Much the same cause, but in a different position. These witches' brooms are sometimes mistaken for galls, such as the oak apple or marble gall. In the case of galls, an organism is causing the plant to create the structure to house its young, its offspring. However, that's not the case for witch's broom. <laughs>